along with Brian. Brian Oakley. Well, if Brian... Brian? Hey! Okay. Hey, Gary. Want to fill in for a second here? We, we love dead air. He's, he's, he's here. Brian's here. Did, did, any, did anybody did anybody inter, introduce Brian Oakley? Has he, has he had a proper introduction? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna turn the microphone over to him because he'll lecture you for 20 minutes on what is and isn't a pun. That's why we let David ex explain it. By the way, Brian Oakley has been an MC now for eight, eight of the last nine. Uh, I went through punch slingers three times in a row in the East of Show. I uh, got plenty of sons of the year reward, and I get to talk to the committee, and that's all we need to know. Thank you, and good night, Brian. <laughs> anyway, Brian uh, is going to take over here. Right? All right, we're, we're trying to round up one more microphone here. Before we call up our first two contestants, Mr. Microphone, to you. Yes, we missed our microphone. We're still missing our microphone. Oh, we have a little dead air to fill here. I'm just going to talk to you about strikes. Uh, we've already talked to you about you know, how you get a strike. There are two ways to get a strike. Either you make a pun that is not a pun, or you make a pun on a word that has already been used. We have... Uh, Sacha and uh, John Francis McGrath over here who are actually going to be keeping track of the words that have been used. They're going to be uh, keeping Austin Word over there. And because uh, as we get later and later in the afternoon, the brains of, uh, of your judges and MCs here are going to start to boil up here on stage and we will need all the help that we can get. So how are we doing on that missing microphone? It's in circulation. It's in circulation. Go up the center. That's hard to believe. Okay, let's go. All right, we're ready to uh, begin punch sluggers. All right, the best of the worst. <laughs> Contestant, we, we do these in pairs, and as you know, if you've ever been to the pun off before, our first two contestants will be Mallory Culbert, number one, and Chris Snade. Let's hope that I am pronouncing their names with some shadow of accuracy. And the missing microphone has circulated back to the stage. The missing microphone has returned. So you two can take the... Uh, Number one will go first. So, uh, Mallory, yes. you will have the first pun. You will have five seconds, count of five, start making a pun. Oh, uh, boy. On the topic, fast food. Oh, God. Oh, is it going? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay, we're resetting the clock starting okay. oh, now. Good save. Um, God, this is horrible. Um, oh, strike one. Yeah. I'm sorry. If you cannot make a pun within five seconds, you are going down. The round is over. Oh, it is? Yes. Oh, I thought there was a strike thing. Oh, okay. You have to make one to lose one. That's yes. okay. I only had two friends show up to see me at this, so... <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hear it from let's the test one, number one, number two. We had no idea how fast that round would go. What? All right, we'll let you make one real fast, just to prove that you're... Uh... I, I, I see that Mallory's a bit shorter than me. In this case, because we're in Austin, Texas, she'd be a little short fry. 
Uh, just a quick announcement, those of you that met with the Winning Bidders Live Auction, if you can get start heading over to the membership table with your cash, if you need cash, the ATM machine over at the Hilton's available. And we got, uh, by my count, about 10 minutes left in the silent auction. So this is the last warning for the silent auction. On with the show. This is the last audible warning for the silent auction. All right, are we ready to proceed with contestants number three and number four? Will you please welcome to the stage number three, Hannah Nelson, and number four, multi-time cutoff winner, Ben Zeke. Take your microphone, make yourself comfortable with your microphone. Hannah, you will have the first chance First shot on the topic of farming and ranching. And you go now. It's a long walk. <laughs> uh, that was not a pun, so you get one strike and you get. Five seconds to uh, try again. We got this. There's a lot of fakers up here. Faker. All right. They don't have to be good. That's, that's one of the, uh, that's one of the riders, uh, but they do have to be fun. All right, Ben, you have plenty of time. I think we've seen today that uh, there's a large range of puns out here. Uh, I recently took up fencing. How did you do with that? I like to swim in the silo end of the pool. Silo. Uh, oh, sorry. I got a skin irrigation. I'd really like to pig out on food. I do too, but then I end up in the bathroom taking a big crop. I recently bought a cow neck sweater. You know, she's been trying to do this on, on line all the time. I've tracked her. I bought a new trucker hat the other day. Um, that was not a pun. Since this is the first, a trucker hat is just you know, on trouble. So, because this is the first round, we're merciful in the first round, relatively speaking. You. you get a chance to fix that and make a real pun within five seconds on truck. Um, do any of you have a cedar truck? Truck? Oh, wait. Like we said, they don't have to be good. Uh, that just kind of barely slid under the door there. Ben, you've had plenty of time once again. Uh, when are we doing this till? I don't know if there's that many hoes at 12th and Chacon anymore. Here's an old Austin joke for you. My, my dyslexic girlfriend broke up with me. She gave me a John Deere letter.
used. That is the second strike. In that case, that's a cow that you can't have, but you get another turn, another five seconds. There's a lot of hot chicks here. Well, when my dog gets tired, my cat will drive. There's also a lot of seedy people here. I had a salad last night on top, ranch. Uh, there's a one weed day every week. Wednesday. Weed day, did you say? Wednesday. Wednesday. Oh, wheat. Okay. Yeah, like weed. Okay. But wheat works too. Pronunciation. Pronunciation. Okay, you're up, Ben. Bro. 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 Oh, bro. No. Pronunciation. It's a little droughty up here. Okay. All right. Droughty. 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 Yeah. British farm. Go ahead. Uh, I had a, a female friend who wanted to be in the pun off, but they had to bump her. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty dirty up here too. Um. That is not a pun. You have a chance to fix that within five seconds. There's a lot of, well, dirty and some dorky, dirty people here. No. Sorry. It is time for an experiment of contestants. Okay. Number five and six. Number five, Annika Eagle. And let's hope she's not a sore. Um, number six, Cameron Russell. And it's it's Anakin, just like Anakin. Oh, that's not Can I get it? Yes, yes. Woo! Brian, Brian has got a hidden topic there, which, uh, and again, you will get the first shot at this topic. We have reset you to no strikes. You have reset you to no strikes. Thank you. Space travel. And again, you're on. Uh, I think I'm going to rock at this. You certainly do. You probably do really well in Nassau, Florida. True, uh, but I mean, when I go gas up and my tank is already full, then I guess I astronaut. That's funnier than you think it is. If you drive a Chevy Astro, yeah. I get nervous up here, and what usually calls me down a lot is a cup of tea, uh, but because I'm so nervous, my hand shakes a lot, so I need a saucer underneath it to catch everything. That's probably because. You just have a little too much hyper drive. Oh. Oh. UFO, no, you didn't. <laughs> uh, you better lance that wound you're getting with all these sharp puns. Like Lance Armstrong? Lance Armstrong is not an astronaut. <laughs> yeah. Um, she's, the, she's the obviously thinking. That is a strike. You get a chance to make a pun on a space travel related topic, man. She's obviously thinking of Stretch Armstrong. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I competed in the Armstrong competition and I'm a little bit nervous up here. So. Neil Armstrong. Armstrong? Neil yeah, Armstrong. Like Neil Armstrong. Oh, oh Neil, thank you. You gotta, Lance, remember your, yeah. you gotta remember your space heroes, they're very intel important. You better shut toll mouth. Boost. My favorite jazz artist is definitely Jet Baker. That's nice. I took a ride with him the other day. It was a star drive. Star drive, because he's a star. Yeah. We got it. Okay, so if 
if you need to fill up your um, your rocket or your puns, if you'll just let me get to it. You know, I wish I had more people up here on the stage supporting me. They could uh, hike my space. <laughs> We don't have control over the mic. We can, if the, if the person in the sound booth can turn the sound up. Yeah, and if you put your mouth a little closer to the mic, that will help too. Remember to. All right, you, um, Annika, you're up. Okay, and it's Annika again. Annika. Sorry, but uh, I just have a little gravitas up here. Gravi gravity, gravitas. Okay. Oh, it's so hard coming up with puns. I mean, you're Millennium Falcon kitten here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, if you've opened that door, then let me just light up my pipe of Chewbacca. Oh, yeah. All right, that was our last Star Wars pun for this uh, for this round. Space, yeah, space We're travel. We're going to uh, have, yes, have real space travel, space travel, not fictional space vehicles. No more fictional space vehicles. We've allowed two of them. There's the, you got plenty of material. All right, right. You do. so go ahead. Your turn. Cameron? Yes. Was your, was your last one the Chewbacca? Yeah. yeah. And that counted? You're lying. Okay. Fine. No, no, we, we allow one Star Wars pun each. Now we're going to come back to non fictional, yeah, non fictional uh, space travel. Cameron, cheer up. Contestants here. All right. Annika took that round and we'll proceed to the next round. And our next pair of contestants will be number seven, Peter Rubin, and number eight, Kevin Bingswanger. We're taking the mics off, is that what? Well, you can take the mic off or you can hold or you can Cozy up to the stand. Just make sure the folks can hear you. People Reset like to hear your jokes. Strike. Okay. Reset the strike. Oh yeah. Thank you. No, he, he's good. You can just. You can just. <laughs> now th this may be one of the few places you know in your social life where people actually want to hear your jokes very clearly. So give them that satisfaction. Let's see if we can get it. All right. Uh, number seven. That would be you. Peter, you will get the first go on the topic, which the lovely and talented Brian is about to waterborne vehicles. Waterborne vehicles. I fear we're going to start out with a subpar here. So far. Look. All right, Peter is the winner of that very brief round. All right, contestant number nine, Jordan Wiesdowski. drinking Aquafina, but I wish it was avian. Now, this, is a tough, this is a tough topic. I kind of feel like a bird on a wire. Now that is an example of a pun that's not a pun. Bird on a wire is simply a cliche. You get a chance to fix it. You don't get a strike yet. Because this is the first round and we are merciful. I guess that performance of mine wasn't uh, worth a crow. Say that again. It wasn't worth a crow. 
Pro. That was that was borderline, but uh, we're gonna hope you do better next time. You're back up, Jordan. I'm back up to bat. Because that is a completely different use of the word bat than the use of the cliche. That is a genuine pun. All right, Bob, you're up. I really got pegged went by that one. That's so Raven. I'm ranting and raving up here. There we go. There we go. I refuse to let this topic uh, turn me into a mockingbird. That is another non-pun pun. Can you give us a pun, Bob? I guess I'm out on a limb with this. I don't know. What was that? I guess I'm out on a limb with this. That is another cliche. Let's give you one more chance to give us a pun, Bob. I guess it's a hawk that's really the, what I'm looking for. A hawk? Yeah! Woo! And what? The, I get the hawk. What is the pun part? <laughs> I have to be a hawk to win this. Okay. God, you're good at that. We're, we're, this, uh, this we're gonna let you slide just because, uh, for, for now, just because Jordan has had plenty of time to come up with his next wow. pun. Wordplay. Um, some of you might not be uh, uh, able to make puns out there, but this fella can. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, is a pun. Come on, come on. Oh, um, I'm gonna fly away. <laughs> Non-pun pun. All right, let's hear it for these two contestants. Thanks nice to both of these contestants for helping us to clarify that uh, great area of what is a pun and what is simply a cliche. You cannot beat that man. Bird work play. Nope. All right. And for these two birds of a feather, contestant number 11, Jacob Dodson. And number 12, Dave Wallace. Oh, yeah. Wallace, is he? Wallace, is, oh, there he is. Trying to refrain from any Pink Floyd jokes while he's uh, stepping up to the stage. All right. Okay. Now, Dave, you're trying to confuse us because you're still wearing your number from the Punniest Show. Uh huh. You are 61. I'm glad that's not well. You know, six and nine. Um. Anyway, Dave, you're number 12. Jacob, you're number 11, which means you will get the first shot at the topic of movie titles. Movie titles. We did this last year, but not really. One or two. Make us proud. Make us proud. Jacob, you are on. You'd say your number was gone with the wind? Uh, okay. Jaws Lee. I had a friend who had very cold hands. His name was Cool Hand Luke. Uh, I know they don't have to be funny. <laughs> In the Flintstones, to get into a house, you have to use a rock key. A pun! A pun! A pun! A pun! There was a time when the Jets' sons met the Flintstones. Yeah! Unless there was a Jetsons movie, I don't think that. No, there was a Flintstones movie. Was that just a TV special? Okay. I'm obviously no Alice in Wonderland. Thank you! Dude. Uh, when kids start to make a lot of noise, that's what you call a lad din. Yeah. When he had sinus issues, it was Aladdin and the 40 Sneeze. Yeah. Is Snow White? Chief, let's go fun. My ex-girlfriend was a baker. I always enjoyed watching Beauty and the Yeast. I'm going to try this and you're probably going to stop me immediately. But in the Flintstones, uh, for a sequel, you have to use a Rocky too. All right, that will be our last 
to pun on numerical sequels to Rocky. Jacob, you're right. My, I met someone from underwater and I touched her and she fell apart very easily. She was a brittle mermaid. <laughs> I just uh, gave birth to a uh, slasher. Uh, yeah, uh, he's a, a real Friday the 13th child of mine. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Was there a pun lurking there? Yeah, he's, a, he's a teenager, so he's a Friday the 13th. Teeth! Yes. Thank you. Okay. All right. Because I just gave birth to a teenager, apparently. Gay logic. <laughs> All right, Jacob, you've had plenty of time. That other Aladdin movie featured Aladdin and the return of Jeff's jar. Um, yeah, it's Jafar. He's right. You know, it's, 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 it's just a, hey, you know what a movie theater looks like? Yeah. Yeah. You're digging deep. You're doing well, but you're digging deep. All right, Dave, you're up. Jafar, go. All right. Uh, I was invited to the Adult Video Awards, or as I like to call it, the Star Wars. You know, about a few, what, five years ago, they elected a new pope. I used to get into some pretty decent bar brawls. They called me the last bar fighter. You know, this Japanese emperor slapped a guy from Japan. It was the Empire Strikes Vlad. <laughs> Uh, I don't smoke anymore, but when I do, I usually smoke it from a hook. Oh. Hook. 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 The, the port side town rebuilt their dock like structure, and finally, it was the return of the jetty. <laughs> Only three more movies to go! You know, I don't like uh, the phantom women-ness much, but I do like the phantom men-ness. <laughs> Two more Star Wars jokes to go! <laughs> um, I've been followed around by a lot of unmanned UAVs. It was Attack of the Drones. If uh, you get hit in the crotch while in the kitchen, it's called a Peter Pan. <laughs> And they don't have to be decent either. I just really enjoy meat in the morning. Um, I just really like the force of bacon. I'm getting kind of thirsty. I want to... Uh, actually, when I die, I hope I go to seven. That was a pun. Yeah. It's a lucky number, seven. Oh. Okay. Is there a pun in that? Uh, the movie is lucky number seven. The pun is lucky number seven. Okay. Uh, Bugs Bunny once had a nightmare on Elmer Street. <laughs> him once before, but Gilgamesh got me the second time. It was Revenge of the Myth. There we go. I think we've exhausted Star Wars. Uh, there was this great movie with John Travolta and a pigeon. It's called Look Who's Talking. I had something in my eyes, so I looked in a mirror to conduct the search for the speck. Search your spot. Leonard Nimoy's truck, it's a Star Trek. <laughs> My aunt sweeps up the fireplace at night, Cinderella. Uh, you can go to Australia and uh, find the undiscovered country. Un un under the land down undiscovered country is what I was going for there. Can you 
Wow. Yeah, okay, <laughs> thank you. You just satisfy my request that you actually make a pun out of that. <laughs> You're up, Jacob. Did you all see the documentary about obesity rates in America? It was the girth of a nation. I was taking my, uh, my son out to the city once, and he saw a cow in the middle of the road. And I said, don't worry, that's just an urban cow, boy. I don't have any underwear with alligators on them, but I do like my crocodile undies. Have you met Harry and her son? I have not, but... Uh, it was a long time ago that I first came to the pun-off, and since that... continues to the next round, survives that one. Yeah, we, we really, the MCs really do enjoy it up here when we actually get to hear a whole string of genuine yeah, puns. Right. Just one after another. I'm glad there was not a surname for every Rocky. I, I live for topics like that. Um, contestants number 13 and 14. Contestant number 13, Isaac Klein. Little Iny Clanny Notch Punster here. And uh, 2014, Stephen Hayes. All right. Brian is going to introduce the topic. Uh, exercise. Isaac, you go first. And we have the, the limitation here that you can't. Uh, it has to be pure exercise, no competitive sports. Oh. Right. Soccer would not be a legitimate one here, because sports is a whole other huge category, and we would be here until Wednesday if we allowed that. So. Okay, so just exercise. Just let me, exercise. Let me just try to jog my memory for a second. Woo! Literally warming up. I like that. I think I had a bad taco earlier, and so I ended up getting the runs. <laughs> Did that happen when you came here on the train? Well, I had to sit down on the train, but it was, uh, I had to dry it off because it was sweat. You've got a, you've got a weird look in your eyes. Are you a cycle killer? Well, you know, I, I decided that I would go ahead and um, uh, muscle through this one because it's a pretty tough one to try to come up with a pun here. <laughs> muscle through is not a pun. Uh, can you make a pun on the word muscle? Yeah. Yeah, uh, five seconds. I was, I was uh, trying to fish for clams the other day, but all I could get was a muscle. <laughs> yeah. See? It's not a pun. You know, if you can't think of a muscle pun the first time, just wait for it. <laughs> I couldn't decide which one, so I decided I would try them all. Oh! Swimming? What is that again? I'm having a lapse in memory. Oh. Yeah. Sorry that most of my jokes are really lame. <laughs> my car kept hopping when I tried to change the tire because I had jumping jacks. So, uh, I decided I would lose weight and uh, got sized for my original size, but then after I started dancing, I got resized and it was a jazzer size. Are you making this all up? Uh, are you writing this beforehand or did you just make all this sit up? Oh. <laughs> yes, indeed. 
So uh, I decided to get an Uber the other day with my girlfriend. I wanted to impress everyone. So instead of using Uber X, which I usually use, I use Black Car because I want everyone to be impressed whenever I pull up. Uh, my girlfriend does exercises for her nether regions. Push ups. <laughs> Remember, they don't have to be decent. So, uh, something broke in my house the other day, so I decided to glue it together. I'm trying to think of more, but I'm hamstrung. Okay, here we go. Okay, um, we've each given you one muscle group, which would uh, more accurately fit into internal body parts, so um, you're even, and uh, no more names of muscles. You still got plenty of words to pun on. And let's see, Steven, it's your turn. So I guess do we just continue this cycle? Cycle has been used. That's first right. Do you guys know what exercise undertakers are really good at? What? Deadlifts. You know what? I got so excited that I decided we would just um, flip a coin to decide who wins this one. Mm -hmm. Hey, look! I'm practicing shin ups. <laughs> so you know, it's it's embarrassing sometimes when you go to the gym. So whenever I go, I decide to uh, cover up uh, all the mirrors so that no one can see me. Um, that's all I got. <laughs> what was that? All right. Was there a pun involved? Yeah, I didn't get that either. There was an attempted pun involved. Attempted pun. What was the key word? Uh, can you give us a real pun, just in case uh, there was one lurking in there? Can you it, was, uh, it, was, it was mirrors. So let, let me continue with mirrors. Um, mirrors are regularly mirrors associated with exercise. Mirrors are associated with so many things other than exercise. I, we're not going to give you a strike if you will take another word and give us an actual pun. Another word besides mirrors? Yes. You're not going to allow the word mirrors. You have five seconds. <laughs> yep, so, you know, uh, I got this friend, and his, his name's Jimmy, but I like to, to call him by his short name because I'm good friends with him. His name's Jim. There we go. You know, I like to set fire to where they sell art because I'm interested in burning galleries. It's hard for, it's hard for me to concentrate on work under the fluorescent lights indoors, so I like to work out. If you don't like your hair color, dye it. So, um, you know, I, I have, uh, my girlfriend has a, a cup that she likes to drink out of that has a cow on it. And since I'm a man, I like to just bulk up. Do you know where they make the materials for sewing? At the thread mill. I know that a lot of my puns have been cheesy. Cheesy? Oh, been cheesy. Been Thank cheesy. you. All the pronunciation. I don't know. You're hard pressed to call that a pun. <laughs> well, you know, I, I think that's absolutely right. But, uh, you know, there's nothing that you can do uh, on Wheel of Fortune except for just get a horse in there to help you out because, you know, that way you can cart the wheel. <laughs> Phew! Well, you, you had plenty of time during that setup. I met a well-endowed Norwegian woman. She had a really sweet Nordic rack. <laughs> Sauna! Have you guys seen that movie about dogs who exercise, Lady and the Trampoline? <laughs> All right.
Yes. Number 13, Isaac was the winner of that round. They gave that topic a pun for its money. All right. We're nearing the halfway point in round one. We have contestants 15 and 16. Number 15, Jerry Ann. And 16, Stephen Abel. And although 16 is able, 15 goes first. <laughs> On a topic which I'm sure will be revealed to us any minute now. Old one. <laughs> Seniors and aging. All right, Gary, you're first. And you are on. You know, uh, my grandpa, his last wish was to go to Egypt and see Sinai. You know, sometimes I like to be an actor, but I decided to be a geriatric instead. You know, I'm not sure if I can do this. You know, the, the drugs that my grandparents like to do, you know, really <laughs> make them real Alzheimer's. Aging. Very sad. <laughs> so, anyways, um, have you guys seen that new movie uh, with the um, uh, 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 Jack Nicholson? Um, what, what can I say? He's a great H-ter actor. H-ter. It was a shitty one. I don't know. Go back to the movie again. Um, we're gonna give you a chance to make us a real pun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like to go skating in the ice wrinkle. <laughs> All right. You know what, this isn't, this is kind of hard, but I'm, I like to handle it with some, uh, disease. You know, I don't really like brown rabbits, I prefer white hairs. Oh, 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 my kingdom, bro. You know, you guys can really trust me, you know, you should really, uh, high blood, you should be high blood pressed to shirt. Oh, man, I really dropped the ball on that one. <laughs> AAR, please. <laughs> you know, you, you, they're the, the awards for um, my dad's mom and my mom's mom, you know, the Grammys. <sighs> you know, I think you're the heir of grandparents. Run that by again? The heir of grandparents. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> you know, I. I'm very good at detecting people that aren't telling the truth. I have lie alert. Lie alert. Lie alert. You know, my uh, grandparents like to get a little grandy parents. Grandparents has been punned on. Uh, isn't that, that's a strike. I mean, that Granny and grandparents were both fun yeah. on. That happens all the time. You know, there was this huge dog, he had great grandpas. Um, you know, sometimes when you get older, you know, you get a little, uh, veiny. So, you should, uh... And, and when you go to the, the doctor, you know, you should really be polite. You know, you should... Refer to him as surgery. Surgery is not really unique to seniors and aging. We're going to struggling with medical conditions that are unique to seniors and aging. So we're going to give you a chance to uh, fix that because this is the first round. Okay, fine. give us a real pun. You know what? I, my favorite beer deals with this. It's a male pattern bald. What? But not male pattern bald. Yeah, I know I didn't ale. Like male pattern. Yeah, I okay. got <laughs> You know, I, I like my senoritas and my seniors. <laughs> you know, it's not very hot. It's a little cold. Oh. A little what? A little cold. A little old? Cold? Uh, a little old? Is that what you're trying to say? Uh, can you actually say it as a pun? Okay. Don't try to scold me. It's got old. Okay. Elder, I barely even know her. <laughs> oh, we were waiting for that one. Right. Come on. There we go. Out of the box. Uh, a baby, baby boomer. Uh, 
Sadly, that is seniors and aging now. Jerry? You know, I don't think I'm wrong. I think, well, I don't think you're wrong. I think you are right this. Ouch! You know what? When you get older, you have to have more pills, you know, or they're going to prescribe you a new one. You know, I knew this old guy who, uh, when he, when he uh, goes downstairs and he trips, he has ED afterwards. He says, help me, I've fallen, I can't get it up. Oh. Um, that sounded awful like a non-pun to me. What do you think, Brian? Get it up, get up. I mean, it's a pun. It's a pun. It's a pun. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. all right. You got a rise on you. You know, I like jazz, you know, and I think when I get older, I'm going to like the code blues. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, there was this uh, guy on The Simpsons who's, who would make weapons and stuff. He was Mr. Smithers. What? Smith, Smith. Like a blacksmith. Smith, Smithers. Yeah. He's very associated. We're, uh, we're going to give you a chance to fix that. Names of old people is... Uh, this is... Words that have to do with seniors and aging. We're not talking about names of people. All right, so go again, Jerry. All right, maybe I don't have many good puns with this topic, but I can tell them merely bad puns. Telomeres. It's what causes aging. Ooh, boy. Yeah. Yeah. He's getting all genetic on us. You know, I like to go to the movie theater with my grandfather. You know, I can really dis senior discount on him. You know, when I try and hold things uh, so I can work on it in the workshop, I use a Weiss. 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 Yeah, okay, you know what? When I, when I get married to a bunch of different women, women, I like to have many different wives. No. Wives. I put it on wives. Wives, wives, elderly people he's referring to. I'm going to let that skate. I think here in Austin... But the ice is thin. Here in Austin, Texas, you know, uh, a, a real hero of mine is uh, Office Rocker, Texas Ranger. Yes. That's yeah. good. That's good. Jerry? So anyways, um, I didn't even say anything. You know uh, the Lannisters on the Game of Thrones? You know, I know some of this, their descendants, and uh, what can I say? They, they're really fond of their ancestors. Hey, look out! You're on a painted camera! Was that painted? Painted camera. Is Cain been used? Yes. Yes. I think Cain was used early on. Second strike. Oh, you got a chance to make another one. Yeah. Hey, Fuzzy. I'm hoverboard bored with this. Yeah. What was that? I need to get a hover round to another pun. Hover round. Yeah. Hover round. Yeah. Hover, round. Yeah. hover round. Hover round. Hover round. Jerry, you've had plenty of you time know, now. You know what? I uh, I know this old guy who will only drink his alcoholic drinks from a certain amount of uh, certain cup because he can't see well. He uh, He's very peculiar about his glasses. I don't really care. Yeah. I don't really care about this anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so, anyways, I, I'm gonna get a strike, but I, I need to. I need more time before I can think of another one. Kane has been used, has it not? Yep. Yes. So that's a strike. And you get to go again, Jerry. Hey, you want to go back to my den? Sure, I do. Yeah. You know, you really are the bee's knees replacement. <laughs> you know, uh, DMX and, and NWA, they're my favorite type of genre. It's the hip hopped, hip popped. <laughs> You know, as you get older, this might be a little inappropriate, but some things start to sag, you know? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. You can, but you, you can celebrate it, you know, Balin? You can be, you can be happy. Uh, happily ever Balin after. Balin has been used after. No, 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 Balin. No, no, no. What was it? Ever, ever great. Balin lived after. Let's not get any better. 